It's citrus season, so we're gonna change up salsa by adding a little pineapple. Joining me now, we have Tracy Miller. She's the colorful cook, and uh, you love adding fruits, vegetables to all your meals just to keep us healthy. Trisha, that is my mission, fruits and vegetables to everything. And I'm actually trying to like sway to be more of a vegetarian and maybe even work to being a vegan, but it's so difficult when you're used to eating meat and having yeah. deli meat and sliced turkey and this and that. This salsa is excellent. You could add black beans to it and just make it a salad for lunch or if you want to eat some meat, which we all do, it's wonderful on chicken, on white fish, or on shrimp. I put this on my shrimp tacos all oh, the time. Awesome. And okay. yes, citrus is in season and it's full of vitamin C. So when you're looking at a pineapple and you want to buy one, look for a heavyweight because that means it's going to be juicy. And look for one that has this nice color all the way down, that yellow color. If you buy it and it's green, which it typically is up at the top, just let it sit on your counter for a couple of days and let it ripen. You can see how like yellow it is down here. It kind of looks like it's rotten. That is the time to eat the pineapple. <laughs> okay, okay, and now this is how you cut a pineapple, and this is the quickest, best way to cut it. You're gonna have a lot of waste on your pineapple no matter what, so you just really wanna get all of this off. Okay, so Trisha, you wanna make sure it's nice and clean, you don't have any of those little eyelets on there. And then we cut it in quarters and get rid of that core right there. You get rid of the core on every single piece. because oh, the core is kind of bitter, right? Yeah, and cut it really thin and really small because you're going to be putting it in the salsa. So you kind of want everything cut yeah, about, about the, the same, same size, okay. right? Okay, so we're gonna start off with the pineapple, put that in there, and then to make it a salsa, you know, we need to have some other goodies. So we've got a little squeeze of lime, which always just brings out a great flavor. Yeah. And these are good limes too. You could also do a little zest if you wanted to. Um, we're gonna do some red pepper too, even upping the ante for vitamin C. So let's get the red pepper in there. Some green onion and some cilantro. And when you're working with cilantro, you can use both the stems and the leaves. So you can really kind of make a nice flavor with that. If you wanna add a spice to it, get a jalapeno in there. Just let that sit covered for like two hours and you're gonna have yourself an awesome flavorful salad. Like I said, add black beans if you wanna do vegetarian or you can put it over some meat and really make it kind of just a nice, light, fresh. But while it's still snowing mm. and we have snow drifts outside, you can uh, have a little taste Lighten of the tropics it up a little. Yeah. with pineapple salsa. Okay, Tracy, thanks so much. Thank you.